Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you a few nice ways to generate unique lists of numbers and values. So at the end we're going to include a GUID and a UUID formula. That's right, this is one formula that's going to generate unique ID numbers for you. And then we're going to go through some formulas that will work just for numbers, for old versions of Excel, new versions of Excel, and then every version of Excel. And this first one is going to be personally my favorite. And the best part about all of this is that it requires zero VBA. No coding at all. But if you do want to learn how to automate your workbooks and save yourself hours of time where you can simply click a button and have everything done for you, create reports, email people, have all of that done with a single click of a button, check out my full VBA tutorial on teachexcel.com, over 200 tutorials, over 200 downloadable Excel files, and you have personalized email support with me if you ever get stuck on anything. There's a link to that course below this video, and it might even be on sale, so check it out. But now, let's start off with the very first method I want to show you. I'm calling this the easiest method for all versions. It's personally my favorite because sometimes I forget how to mix and match all the formulas after a long, hard day. This one is pretty logical, pretty easy. So let's start off with the basics. What we want here is a unique list of numbers, a list of numbers where none of them are repeated. And the easiest way to do that is go like this, one, two, and copy down. But this is going to work in a lot of situations. Let's make it a little bit more interesting like this right now. So we want to have a big list, and let's say our criteria is I want values from 1 to 1,000, and I only want 10 of them. So what we can do is click this guy, go to the Home tab, go to this Fill button right here, then Series. For Series In, choose Columns, Type Linear, Step value, how much do we want it to increase every row? Well, I only want one, so it goes one, two, three, four, all the way to a thousand. Stop value, one thousand. Hit OK. And there we go. One, two, control down, one thousand. Perfect. And now, how do we get it to look like this, though? Very, very easy. A function that's going to work in all versions equals rand. Hit enter and we get a decimal. Click that guy, double click the quick fill handle, and it's going to go down for all of your values. Now all that we have to do is to sort it by the RAND column. So right click this guy, sort, and smallest to largest, largest to smallest, does not matter. We are sorting by the decimal column here. And there we go. Then we can choose our 10, we can copy it, paste it, do whatever we want with it and delete these original values, they no longer matter. And now we have a series of unique numbers from 1 to 1000. I like this because it's only one formula. It's so easy to remember, even after a long, hard day. Now the next thing I want to show you, a lot of people ask, okay, I've got my unique list of values, and let's make a few of them smaller, like this 23 right here. So let's say 11, and go down a few, 23, and the RAND value is going to change every time I hit enter. Don't worry about that. We don't need these guys anymore. But people say, hey, you know what? I don't like it that it's one and then it's three things here and then two. I want all of these to be at least four. So four for this one, zero, 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 one, zero, five, one, eight. I want it to be four digits. So what we can do is to select this. It's a very easy. We just do it in formatting. Then we right click it. And we go to Format Cells, which is currently off the screen. Number, Custom. And we can click a zero if we want and start with that. Or it'll be on General. You can just delete that guy. Look up here in the sample. So it's just one digit right now. Zero, it'll be the same. But another zero, we get two. Another three. And another four until four digits. Hit OK. And there we go. Everything is lined up nice and neat. A little bit of custom formatting, one RAND formula, a quick fill series for all these numbers, and you're good to go. Before we go to the Excel 365 tab, another way to make this type of list. There are so many ways to do pretty much everything in Excel now, so I'm going to show you another way for this one. And it is using sequence, sort by, and RAND array. 
So a great little function that you should know if you have Excel 365 is sequence. We can put whatever number we want here for rows, and it's going to give us a list of that, 1 to 10 in this case. If I put 20, it would give us a list of 1 to 20. But we don't want it to be in order. And how do we do that? Well, we can use the sort by right there function. Another new function. We give it our array of values right here, sequence, 1 to 10. And then we just have to figure out how to sort it. And we can use a new function called rand array for that. So it's a more powerful rand function, basically. And it allows us to say how many rows of values, how many columns of values, what's the min, what's the max, and should it be an integer or not. I've covered it in another tutorial in depth. So here, I'm not going to go into too much detail with it. But what I want, since I have 10 values over here, is 10 values by which we can sort them. So the sequence here on the left is the same as the integers here on the left. And the rand array is going to be the column here on the right. So we need 10 rows. I don't care if it's an integer or not. We're just going to be using it for sorting. So close up rand array, close up sort by, and there we go. And of course, you could make it 1 to 1,000, and you could do all sorts of interesting things. And in fact, that's what we're going to be doing on the next tab. But this is a nice, simple, easy way to do it. Now let's go over for the Excel 365 tab and see what we've got. So I want to do the exact same thing that we did last time. It's similar to what we just did a moment ago, but we want to be able to go 1 to 1,000 and only return 10 values. Here we're going to add some more parameters to the rand array function, put some more arguments into it. But I'm going to start small. Instead of going for the 1 to 1,000 example, let's start at 1 to 10. It'll be a little bit easier to understand how we have to build this out. So how many rows do we want? Let's say that we want 10 rows. How many columns? One column. And for min, let's go 5 and max 10. And for integer, let's say true so that we don't get any decimals. Now we have 10 rows of values that are going to repeat. 8, 8, 5, 5, 7, 7, and so on. And we don't want that. Unique list of values, remember? So we have another great function that we can use, unique. And all that we have to do is close rand array with unique. And it takes our 10 values to the unique list that's left over afterwards, which in this case is 4. Now if I hit F9 to refresh it, it may change. Because these values change every time that you calculate the spreadsheet. But the problem now is that we need to get 10 values. Okay, they don't repeat, but it's not 10. So how can we get around that? Well, we could change 5 from 1 to, then max, make that 1,000, which is what we do want. But in theory, we could have some of these values repeat themselves going to be somewhat rare, I suppose, depending on how big your set of numbers is, but they could repeat themselves. So what we want to do, instead of limiting it to 10, is let's give it 100 rows, or 1,000 rows, or 10,000 rows, or however many rows you want to give it. So rand array is going to generate a tremendous amount of random numbers between 1 and 1,000. This is not what we want. We only want 10 values. So we can use our old trusty index function to return a subset of this entire list. And uh, this list, everything we input before, is for the first argument, the array argument. And now we just need to give it a set of rows to return. So comma, we can use the sequence function for that. And I only want 10 rows. So that'll return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 feed it back to the index function and say, hey, give me the first 10 values, and it'll pull the 10 values from this list right here. And unique has made sure that they're going to be unique. And rand array for 10,000 rows has made sure that we're going to have plenty of values so that we will at least get 10 unique numbers from between 1 and 1,000. Close up the parentheses, enter, there we go. Now this is a much longer formula than before. So if you can't memorize it, just download this file. You can get it on teachexcel.com. Check the link below this video. All you have to do is sign up for a free account. It costs nothing. Then you can download the file. But now let's move on to the old formula. And this guy is going to work in all versions of Excel pretty much. 
Uh, but uh, it's not a very beautiful formula. <laughs> and I have spent a lot of time explaining how to go through formulas like this in the past. I am not going to do it right now. It can get very complex very quick. What I want to do here is to show you what you need to change to make it work for you. Let's start with the first thing. Make sure that this A1 over here is A1. When you copy and paste formulas, it can get changed around. That should be A1 without the dollar signs. And make sure this B3 to B3 is exactly like that. The first part should be absolute, the second part relative, so dollar signs and then no dollar signs. And it should point to the very next cell above your current value, above the very first number that you want in your list. That's where it should start. Then we have 100 to 99 here and here, here and here, and here, and here. And that's the limit. Minimum 100, maximum 999. So change those values to your min and your max everywhere you see them in this formula. Right here, right here, and right here at the end. Then all you have to do is hit enter and copy and paste it for however many unique values you want. And that's all you have to do for that. If you want to have a little bit of fun, if you <laughs> like formulas or functions or like torturing yourself in Excel, then check out some of my old tutorials on how to dissect formulas, how to go through them and figure out how everything works, or check out my regex tutorial, R-E-G-E-X. That's a pretty crazy tutorial. I don't even know why I did that at this point, but it was a little bit of fun. That shows you all the different ways you can make crazy formulas like this. But for what we need in this tutorial, you don't actually have to know how everything works. But now let's go to the GUID or the UUID formula right here. Once again, another one that you don't need to know exactly how it works. All you need to know is you pop this guy in your cell, you hit F9, and you're going to get a GUID or a UUID. Pretty similar, but there are a few differences. But for most people, you could think of it the same way. And if you want to make this hard-coded, so we'll go through the formula in just a moment. All you have to do is to copy it, put it where you want it, right-click, paste special, paste special values right here. Or Alt-ESV, enter, if you use that shortcut a lot. The formula for this guy is this. I do not expect you to memorize this at all. You should download this file, copy it, and paste it where you need it. You don't need to change anything. You don't need to update anything. Click the link to teachexcel.com below this video, download the file, copy, paste it. And once you've got this formula, all you have to do, copy it for as many times as you need it, and then Control C to copy it, Alt ESV, enter, copy, paste special values like I did with this guy. And you've got a frozen list of GUIDs or UUIDs that you can use in Excel or anywhere else that you need them. And if you want to learn even more, check the links below this video for my full Excel courses, including my Excel VBA course. And remember, those courses do come with support. So if you ever get stuck on anything, you can always email me from teachexcel.com and I'll help you understand it.